Hey everybody, it's Doug from StockStillOutdoor.com and real quick I'm going to show you how we go about joining the ends of two pieces of paracord together. Now it's real simple, but we do have a very specific method that we use to make the joint not only very strong, but as you can see, very slim and, and not bulky so that it's real easy to hide inside the knots of your project. So, let's take a look at the supplies you'll need and then I'll show you how we do it. Okay, as far as the tools and supplies, it's very simple. You'll need at least two separate sections of cord. Uh, we've chosen turquoise and yellow. You'll need something to cut the cord with, whether it be a nice sharp pair of scissors or an, a beat up old pair of wire cutters like, like this. The trick is to get a nice, even, clean cut that doesn't have a lot of bushy ends. Um, and lastly, your average run of the mill gas station lighter. One thing we would not recommend you use is a butane lighter because it tends to get the cord too hot too fast and turn the ends black. And the main focus of this method is to get the joint where it's easily hidden and, and you want the color to stay as close as you can get to the original color of the cord. And a nasty black joint right there would be hard to hide and it's just, uh, it's just not what we're looking for. So use Again, a regular gas station lighter, something that gives you a clean cut and at least two separate sections of cord. And let's see exactly how it's done. Okay, we'll get our two separate sections of cord. And I'm going to recut these just to show you. Let's just recut them. And again, you want a nice, see that nice clean cut? That's nice. And again, just right nice clean cut just like that no frayed ends minimal frayed ends and we're just going to nicely keep it in the blue section of the flame as best you can or the clear section in this case you don't want it up in that yellow section because that tends to and we're just letting it melt all around keep the flame moving until it gets nice and bubbly and melty. And here we go. We're just going to smush them together to make a pancake. And you see how it's flared out around the edge. That is good. That's what we want. You want it flared out. It's getting a little hot on my fingers. That's okay. You just want to keep pushing. And you want that flare out, as you can see. We're trying our best to get it to flare out. That is what we want. But we want it in there. The middle section is what we're interested in getting to seal. And as even as you can get it, as you can see, the cord itself looks straight. This flared out business doesn't matter, but it is key in the process. You do want it to flare out. And as you can see, any blackness that we, where we accidentally got it too hot is on the flare out. So here's the key section of why we use these and not scissors. We're going to go around and we're just going to snip that flare out off, right? We're just snipping it. If you get some cord, that's okay. We're still snipping all around, all around. There you go. We've got it. And if there's any flare outs, that's okay. Now that's, that's part of the, the key to this method. And now we're just going to put the lighter on a section. And it doesn't even have to get too hot, and we're just going to roll the chrome around. That cools it instantly, and it gets it in the shape that you want it, right? And if you get any flare-outs, or things you don't like, just clip them off. And just go around the edge, and we're rolling. And, oh, here we go again. Last little section. And just put that blue part or that clear part right up against it. Because the middle is sealed from that first where we were just shoving so hard to get the flare out. Cut the flare out off. And then seal the edges. And as you can see, you still have your turquoise color and your yellow color. There's no black. As you can see, and that joker will not come apart in your average 
everyday usage, I mean, you have to really go for it to get that uh, sucker apart. And if you see a part that doesn't have any melted on it, like that little section right there, just all you have to do is just lay it on there and roll it, and it's sealed. Just like that, nothing to it. And as you can see, the profile, barely. And if you see a, a part that's, that's jutted out, just put it on there and roll it in. And get it to where it shares the same profile as the cord itself. The longer you do it, the stronger it gets. Just be sure and not leave the lighter on it too long in one section. And that is about it. That will not come apart, and you are ready to hide it. It's easily hidden under any knot that you could tie. So, no time flat. It's easy. Again, smush it together until it flares out. Then, you got to really smush here, though. And you're going to cut the flares off, and then melt the edges and roll it with a lighter. Very simple. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, subscribe, and we'll see you a little bit further down the road.